Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I'm going to get the stream shared really quick. What you're looking at is Carmen's little chocolate slash ice cream shop. Is what we're going to call it right now. Just get shared really quick. Turn the volume down so you're not hearing me twice. How is everyone doing this morning? Okay, no, that's not working right. Sorry guys, this takes me just a second every time. Okay, we are all squared away and shared away. Alright, so Carmen wanted a house that she could eat chocolate in, basically. Um, I, like her thing, said, I want a vacation home. It's a comfy place to eat chocolate. And I was like, well, I'm not exactly sure um, if your idea and my idea of a comfy place to eat chocolate are the same. So I decided to take my own design initiative and not follow just hers, her ideas. So this is her little, her little cafe down below. Um, I kind of needed to go to bed, so I stopped. I think we might move this one partition. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I think we might move a partition around so that um, you can see the chocolate wall behind. But otherwise, upstairs, 
We're going to give her more of a comfy place to eat chocolate. I do want to go down here and finish this one first, though. So most of these things were in the recommended items in her order. I'm going to see how this looks with this wall over here instead. I don't know. I kind of like the pink background as opposed to the chocolate wall. Huh. Oh, wrong thing. I did the wrong thing. <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. Let's go back to... I mean, what's more a bunny's dream than a... That loves chocolate than a little place where she can make chocolate and hang out with her friends, right? I just... I like the dark chocolate better with the pink, but I think we're just going to have it in the kitchen area. There's other colors of chocolate floors, too. If I can find them. There we go. Ooh, that dark chocolate almost looks better with the um, walls or the white. Hmm. The dark chocolate pulls in the dark chocolate wall, I think. Okay, so she's got her own little chocolate kitchen, and she can serve her friends up some desserts or homemade ice creams. I think I like this. Good morning, Krista. This cute little chocolate-loving bunny. Needs chocolate house. <laughs> I've been trying to do soundscapes because it wants me to. Um, I did healing downstairs. I might just stick with that. All right. So I might make upstairs even more chocolatey because she just loves chocolate, apparently. And um, do the accent wall different. Like a great view for eating her chocolate. Whoops. Ah, man. Why do I keep doing that? Which chocolate wall did I have? The pink? I don't know. I think we might go with a different accent wall. What's this? Party wall? I don't think I've seen that one. I like this view. 
Okay, yeah, you, you'll you open up two stories soon, Krista. Um, for now, like, you can really just divide the rooms up in a way that are different. Um, let's make the lights a little dimmer. We'll see. Let's see what the recommended furniture is for this. See, in her order, she has all of these chocolates and foods and, like, cooking things. I think we're going to go with the country-looking ranch-style bed. I mean, not ranch-style bed, patchwork bed. This one. Maybe do some rugs up here too to break up all this chocolate. I once received an aluminum rug from Sahara and I was always like, what the heck? Maybe this is the place for such a thing. I'm not feeling it personally. Um, the lacy rug is my go-to. What is this stage rug? That's cool. I think the hearts would be cute in here too. Ooh, maybe this. Like, I'm not always designing what I like. It's more so um, what the customer wants, right? <laughs> I like the um, things. I'm not sure about this Pepto-Bismol pink chocolate, but... That's why I keep using the chocolate wall as the accent downstairs because it's like too much. Maybe we'll just make it all the brown chocolate. Okay. We could go with all of the patchwork set in country. That would be cute. There is also a chair. Okay, so maybe a nice little reading area over here where she can eat chocolate and read to her baby bunnies. See if we can find a tiny library or something to go there. Some books even, just books. Welcome back, Krista. It is freezing outside and um, I'm already over it. Let's see. I think this dresser might go better with what we're doing here. We don't want everything dark, so I think we'll go with the antique finish. 
I want a tiny library. This could work, but it's not what I want. Just in case we don't find the tiny library. It showed up last night. Not last night. Yeah, the whole two weeks of fall is not enough. Well, the thing about fall is it's like a bounce between fall weather and summerish weather and fall weather and summerish weather. So then everybody's off and on sick because it goes from 70 to 40, 70 to 40 for a month. And then all of a sudden it's like 30 degrees. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness, Tennessee. She seems like the type that would like a teddy bear. I don't think we want a giant teddy bear, but I really like the patterns that the giant teddy bear comes in. Let's try the floral. I don't think we want a shirt. Tiny library, wherefore art thou? So when I played last, I had too many characters that I really wanted to design homes for. That's why I left off here, because I wanted to get to all of them before it, the day changed and I they disappeared. So I did a house for, oh, I forgot about all the cloud furniture. That would have been cute for her, too. Um, I did a house for Judy. And one of my faves, Norma. Norma wanted a cozy reading place with lots of plants, so that's what we gave her. I really want to show you guys how Judy's house turned out as well. Just want to get this little bunny wrapped up. It doesn't look like I'm getting a tiny library. I feel like the everything category is almost overwhelming to me at this point. Let's go by alphabetical and see if it's here. Lots of S items. There it is. Little reading nook over there. And put the dresser to kind of block off her bed area without actually doing a partition there. I don't want this. To me, this right here looks like an extra thing to sit on. Um, I'm not sure if you can evict characters, Krista. From what I understand, it never fills up. I might be wrong, but like I saw somebody yesterday that was celebrating their 180th happy home. And, yeah, I've never heard anybody mention filling it up. I think you can have unlimited people per plot. If anybody's here, correct me if I'm wrong. I wanted that closer to that. Yeah, they get separate houses. It's like 
It's like the, hold on, I'll show you. It's like the other house doesn't even exist. Okay, just kidding. I'll see if it shows on here. So, like, Judy and Stitches share the same island, but there it doesn't show, like, it just shows Judy's here. I'll show you when we get back to the map. Um, who else shares an island? Um... I believe that Zoe and Claudia, no, Claudia has a roommate now. Zoe and Chloe share an island, but it doesn't show up that way. It only shows on the map. Like who lives on that, that spot, that plot. Once we get to where we can do the map again, I'll, I'll show you. I think we need to move this back a little bit so there's walking space I wish that you could angle chairs and stuff I was going to put that owl on this um, thing right here, but it's so cute there that I think I'm just going to find something else to put there. I've been going with pretty simple bedrooms. Yeah, the only time they don't get separate houses is when you start doing roommates. Which is fun. You just have to unlock that as well. Let's get her some house plants to liven it up a little bit in here. I must have passed them, I think. No? Maybe a vase. Gotta have something that's not in the same color scheme. Yeah, a lot of people do, Krista. That's why I encouraged you to try it out. I had a feeling that you would. Maybe one of these will brighten the room up some. We'll see. Like I said, it's not always your actual preference that is what you're going for. You're going for what they like. Okay, we have some, there we go. Okay, so she likes the yucca. Let's see. I feel like this is enough. It's a simple bedroom um, with the 
chocolate that she loves, a nice cozy place to read. I still might scoot this back again. So there's plenty of room, nice cozy place to read and hang out upstairs. She's surrounded by her favorite thing, which is chocolate. I like it. I've been doing more simple bedrooms just because, like, they have such an elaborate downstairs. Um, uh, I kind of like the upstairs better for the name that I'm thinking of. So we're going to go ahead and turn it in so we can get our picture, and I'll show you guys the outside. She calls you Nougat. She's just a chocoholic. I was thinking between Chocolate Paradise and Chocoholic Bunny. I think we're going to go Chocoholic Bunny. Good morning. Yeah, they give you all kinds of stuff. Um, I... My island is full of woodland creature, creatures, and I've come across Carmen so many times on villager hunts when I was looking for someone else and almost taken her. I like to take the picture as soon as it puts the name up. I love pecan is so cute and so is poppy, but Blair is my favorite squirrel. She's snooty and she is so cute and so funny. She's the black and white squirrel. So yeah, I think eventually I'll have Carmen as a villager, but um, not yet. I'm really happy with the villagers on Juniper right now. Rio doesn't really fit in, but I ran into her looking for Shino, and I just loved her, so I took her home with me. Okay, so we got some pictures of upstairs. I would say these are about the same. Looking for subtle differences in the angle. I think we're going to go with this one. Joey, he's so cute. I want to do ducks, but I'm trying to um, be happy with my villagers until spring <laughs> and get two ducks somehow. There's so many villagers that I don't want to let go on Juniper that's going to be hard. Okay, so here's her little chocolate kitchen for anybody that has, didn't see it before we did the bedroom. Oh, no, that is the wrong thing. Thank you. Getting the right amount of zoom out and in to avoid those stairs is such a pain in the butt sometimes. No. Okay. I had Freya for a short while. I just don't... The pink characters are not my favorite. Okay, so see if I can get a better angle by standing on the bridge. This is the outside of Carmen's 
Chocolate Bunny Paradise. Kind of want a picture from over here, too. Um, accidentally made a little bit of a maze with this tree right here. It was passable. I felt like we needed something else behind over there. So I put that fountain. Now it's a little less passable. Yeah, uh, Freya is supposed to be a wolf. That's the, um, that's like the character classification or whatever. But yeah, she looks like a little pink fox. If you love foxes, I would um, look for Audi, A-U-D-I-E, maybe Audi. I'm not sure how you're supposed to say that. Um, anyway, she looks just like a fox and she's peppy. And she's so adorable and sweet. I loved her. Yes, she is so cute. Let's see if there's anybody else out there that we want to say hi to. But also, I might take you guys to Judy's house. Because I love how it turned out. If you stay overnight doing a vacation home, when you walk back out of the building, it will turn it into the next day. That's why I had to finish those four homes. Hey, that's cool. I I wish that... Um, I don't understand it, so maybe you can explain it to me. Once you figure it out. Okay. Let's see if there's anybody interesting here. I've never seen him before. Kabuki's out here relaxing. Let's see if there's even anybody that we want to build a home from. Carmen Octavian is one of Declan's faves. And we have a teddy bear. And I love the teddy bears. So we might do his. Let's see who's in the restaurant. Then we'll go talk to Lottie and see what she wants. Okay, so we have a purple bird here. Um, a kangaroo and a pink penguin wearing a hockey helmet. I can't remember all their names, guys. Sorry. Especially once early morning. <laughs> if they're not somebody I know, sometimes I just don't remember. Um, I know. I wish that... Um, see, you can have up to eight... Um, you can have up to eight houses on your island that are, like, playable characters. Like, if you had eight Nintendo accounts, you could have... A mint squirrel. Yes, mint is a squirrel and she is, she works in the restaurant. She's going to send me an app. Oh, the room sketch app. Okay.
that's interesting. I've heard about that. Um, so what I was saying about the villagers is that a chainsaw, haha, is that, um, if you could have up to eight houses that are, that you create yourself, why couldn't you just trade five of those for villagers? Like those of us that don't have, want eight created houses. Fifteen villagers would really push it a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to show you if we can look at the map here. No. Darn. I do want to show you guys Judy's house. I did cephalobot a home also <laughs> that night. Yes, mint is a squirrel. Her name is actually mint and she is mint colored. Um, okay. This is Judy's vacation home. These are items from her wish list, but I went ahead and did it my way instead of um, doing it her way. Yeah, I think you're right. So this is her um, pretty pink and blue kitchen. It's kind of bright for my liking, but... Um, the lights turned down, it also looks nice. And this is her simple pink and blue purple bedroom. Where we have lullaby music playing because Judy is snooty, but she's also kind of a baby. My homie. See you around, my homie. So the little star things are star clocks turned backwards. That's a little trick that I like to do. These right here, they look like star fragments, but they're clocks. The right side of her yard, I just wasn't as happy with, um, but it's okay. Yeah, I need to upload more pictures of what I've done. Okay, why did I have to come in here? Let's see what that teddy bear is um, in the cafe. I have to keep up with the time. Okay, we have plenty of time. So I'm not like really... I try to take in consideration... Let me look at an arm. Sounds great. That sounds cool. I like to take into consideration what they actually like. Give me a fun life with stuff that reminds me of America. <laughs> Sometimes it's funny. Um, once we get to the map area, I'll show you who I've got paired up on the same islands. I wish that I had made Cephalobot and Sprocket roommates. Um, Sprocket wanted a factory, and I made him like a toy factory, like Santa's toy factory. And um, Cephalobot wanted his other home. He wants an ice cream shop. 
already did an ice cream shop. Okay, so we're going to tell him that we have ideas. Ike? I've never heard of him. And he's a grumpy and he wants an ice cream shop? So, once you've designed a few homes and you get a certain title, you don't have, you can say, let's chat, which is like following their theme and you have to use the certain items. Or you could say, I've got ideas and you don't have to use the certain items. America equals food and guns. <laughs> That's funny. And you don't have to use the certain items. You can kind of make it your own. But, um, so I gave Sprocket a toy. Oh, his, he has an interesting mask thing over his eyes. I like the cranky bears. I don't like, see, okay, so if they show up side by side, they're roommates. Um, but if you see dots beside their head, that means there's multiple people living. Like, they both live on the same piece of land. They both live on the same piece of land. They're roommates. Roommates. Sprocket and Cephalobot live on the same. Judy and Stitches live on the same. So that's what it shows up like. I haven't done more than two. So far, and I haven't done any in the desert or the snow, but maybe this teddy bear would like some snow. I like this plot. I think it's funny that he calls you Rody. It's a good thing. Yeah. Yes, I can. I've done a few streams with roommates. Um, once you unlock it, you can basically walk up to any villager that lives on your vacation island and say something like, hey, how about a roommate? And then you walk around and look for them a roommate. I like to do it when I see someone that would be a good roommate. Like last time, I was kicking myself for not making Cephalobot and Sprocket roommates. Um, I don't know why I didn't. Okay, so we're going to go log cabin for him. I think that's this one. Yes. I don't like that split up house, which also has a log cabin aesthetic, but it just isn't my jam. So, um, I'm going to stick with this kind of log cabin when I create them. I actually kind of like that colored door. I just wish it had a window. Or we could do... The red looks nice. I can show you some of the roommate houses and how it's different upstairs than downstairs. Um, let's see what his order looks like. Um, froggy chair. 
ice cream stuff, toys. So he's a grumpy little kid. It seems like. <laughs> grumpy kid let's give him a bike I like to give him stuff that they like I think we're gonna go with the blue And if we're not filling this, we can um, just exit out of this and go check out the roommates. A store shelf? I haven't seen that before. Let's see what it comes in. Oh, wow. That's interesting. That's one of the new items. Okay, we're definitely going to do a campfire. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that fence, but first let's get a little bit done in the yard. I don't know how I feel about the cotton candy thing. He doesn't have many choices for chairs in his preferred stuff, so we're going to have to go our own way with that. going to sit around the campfires, so I'm thinking dark log stools to contrast the snow and the dark wild log bench. If Flurry and Sprinkle would make good roommates. Um, that would be so cute, Krista. Okay, so I, yeah, Flurry is a hamster. And she's white. She's very cute. Um... Sprinkles, one of my favorites. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, Sprinkle is one of my favorites. Though they would be cute together, I think personally, I think that that would be a cute idea. Um, let's give him like a picnic table kind of setup. I really have like huge expectations for him. I was just going to do kind of a log cabin. Um, okay, so picnic setup over here. Not every yard has to be hugely elaborate. Sometimes you got a simple bear with simple ideas. He apparently likes toys, so we could add a few toys in. A festive top set. I'm thinking a robot. That's funny. Um, there's, I'm trying to think of which roommates I have that only have one floor because you don't have two floors yet. Um,
I really like the decorative bottles because they light up a little bit in the dark. I think I'm going to use them kind of like a background here. I do want to change this fence. I think for the log wall fence. Does that have color variations? No. It's cool that you can see all the color variations in this one. I have not crafted enough fencing on Juniper to unlock changing fences yet. But I have on Tripti. Hmm, I don't like that you can't see our cute little setup here. Let's see what this one looks like here. I kind of like this fencing better. I love how you can design their yards in ways that you can't on your own island. I kind of want these to be even. Four and four looks better than the other. Maybe I'll put another tree there. If it will let me put one on the edge. Yay! Okay. Okay, so they're not decorated until they're full size. That's good to know. Dang it. What you do to change the size of trees is hit X on the tree until it's the size that you want. He's a bear, so I'm just going to give him like a little mini tree forest here. I like cedar trees better in case you can't tell. I think that's enough. Might do a little baby one. Look right here. It's a little too close to the bench. Can we go over just a tad? There we go. Yes. So um, if you go, if you use any trees or plants, um, like the glowing moss, any of the trees, um, any of the flowers, you can hit X on them to change what stage of growth they're in until they are what you want them, including the weeds. Um, I don't think I'm going to give them any flowers, maybe a few blue ones in the back or some green mums. Let's see how those look. Um. Just kind of like make it look a little wild. If you hit right trigger, you're multiplying them without having to like keep going back to the menu. And if you take it to where you want and you want multiples there, um, you just multiply it where you're at. Okay, so I'm going to add like a little bit of a path and we're done with the outside. This is my go-to path.
And I think I'm just going to leave it to his door. I usually leave it to the attractions, but because it's like a little bit of a foresty th thing going on, um, I think we're going to leave it alone there. I like it. There is some like free space over here, but I don't think we can fit any more trees over there. Let's actually try really quick. Oh, we can. Unfortunately, trees have an issue being too close to water, so. And we kind of really don't want it that close to the fire. So I think we're just going to leave it as it is. Good morning, Rihanna. I mean, it's not that early for you. But still, good morning. Welcome to the stream. Six by eight. Let's do some sounds. We're going to make it forest. Big forest. I'm good. How are you this morning? I definitely want to show Krista some roommate situations. Ooh. That's interesting. Are there actual shelves I can put things on? It looks 3D, but I don't think it is. Let's try. I really don't think it is. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. I'm always hitting B when I don't want to. Okay, so for downstairs, we're going to go. He's got a log cabin wall, log cabin. We're going to stick with that aesthetic for him. Like I said, we don't have to finish this one. We can go into looking at the roommates very soon. Okay. A lot of times I do this um, effect so it splits the room up some. I don't know if we're going to. I don't really have much of an idea of what we're doing for him besides like the bear cabin. I just know I didn't like, I didn't want to do another ice cream shop. I haven't downloaded any of those cool window codes that it Diggs keeps posting and that I shared again. This is how I deal with the fact that the counter has an overhang. I make it look kind of like a window seat. I think we're just going to make this a nice seating area with a fireplace. I think he's going to love it. See, little bear, I know what you want. I don't know how big that table is. Just right, it looks like. And... Need like a little
I'm gonna go with this one for like a kitchen table type deal. Fireplace, fireplace. Seems like the type that might enjoy some crafting, maybe a little bit of cooking. Okay. Fireplace. There it is. Okay, that's my favorite fireplace. Okay, let's arrange some of this stuff now. I like to get out a lot of the stuff that I'm going to use and then have plenty of free reign to arrange it. So we're going to give him a small kitchen over here. His sitting area is going to be over here. Instead of having like a big, huge kitchen, we're going to give him a crafting area. There we go. Our sitting area is going to be right in the middle. Let's get rid of this pig. He's in our way. No, our table's going to be right in the middle. Just kidding. Like a table with a view. Cozy fireplace sitting area. Needs a cozy rug. Uh, not quite. I just gravitate towards the round rugs when you're trying to split areas up. That's too small, though. Can't tell what that is over there. That's okay. That's not too bad. Maybe open it up just a little bit. Need some chairs for the table. The ranch chair, I think, is what we're going to go for. Going to give him a few food items and then move upstairs. Just a few miscellaneous decors, too. Seems like the type of guy needs some coffee. Um, and respects a big bowl of soup. Okay, so you can use these island counters, your windowsills, as a place to place items as well, in case you didn't know that.
I like this. Give him a nice teddy bear style bedroom and move along. Okay. I'm really digging the six by eight size lately. Good morning, Holly. How are you? Okay, let's get some groundwork laid out to set up his bedroom. I'm good. I'm just rolling right along this morning. And I think we might do this patchwork set again. It's just so woodlandy. I like it. Although we could go with the log furniture. I do a mix of both. Struggling with this room setup, obviously. <laughs> Let's get us a fireplace. Thank you, Holly, for the stars. Something I learned about stars this week. Stars are on sale right now, which means you can pay less for more of them and send to your favorite streamers. I think we're going to go with a similar setup that we did downstairs, upstairs. Except he's going to get a nice hot tub with a view. Stars will be on sale at a discounted price until the end of December, from what I understand.
No. This works for me. I think this is the perfect cozy cabin for a bachelor pad. So we're going to turn it in. That thing on his face is strange, just like a mask. You can hit B to skip all that if you're not going to take any more pictures of it, just so you know. Let's go upstairs and take a picture there. If you've taken a picture that you know you definitely want to be your um, front picture, you always want to select it if you have multiple pictures so that it doesn't knock it out. Um, I'd like for him to turn around. Do something else, Ike. Please. Is ruggedly cute. Okay, I'm gonna have to move him because he's not gonna do it himself. Let's put him in the chair. Okay. Take a picture outside, maybe? The outside's kind of plainish, but it's what I imagined for him. Get rid of myself and Nico. He's going to stand here and read a book. Let's see if we can get his attention. No, apparently not. Oh, well, <laughs> it is what it is. It's just for my personal to have pictures. I'm going to show you some of my roommates that only have one floor, Krista.
I'm wondering when the next pay increase goes up. I don't Okay, let's see which, whoops, <laughs> good grief. Okay, check out a roomy house. Go towards the beginning where we would have one floor. Right here. So, um, the little alligator is one of the first ones, alley, that you get. And, um, she asked me for a roommate herself. That was how I got roommates. Um, <laughs> okay, so this was set up for one, now it's set up for two on the outside. And this was my first roomy house. I made them a common area to eat at. They have like a little bar set up back there in the hallway. And then this, they have separate bedrooms. Um, Allie's theme was my mushroom forest, so I just turned it into our mushroom forest. Doesn't really seem to fit Claudia's MO, but um, they're happy, I think. So this is, this one was designed to be Allie's room, and the white room was designed to be Claudia's room, whether they, you know, whatever. <laughs> She said something about bath time, and I didn't even give them a bath unless it's outside. I think there is a cypress bathtub outside. So these two ladies were my first roommates. Okay. Sure. So yeah, I think that the two bedrooms with the small hallway is a good way to go for roommates in the beginning because you can give them separation, but also they have like this common area as well. I hope I'm not spinning it too fast. I'm just trying to show you like how deep the rooms are and stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just perfect for her theme. And you can have something next to the bed as long as it's near the head of the bed and still lay down in it. I try to make them functional, but, like, this area you couldn't really get back to. But these creatures are magical. I see them in areas that I have blocked off all the time. So, <laughs> um, here we go. I might visit another roommate to show you how I've done it since. But yeah, I think that's an 8x8 eight eight room or a 10x10. Ten ten. It's probably 10x10 ten ten for the maximum amount of space. See, she's over there. How'd she even get over there? You can't get over there. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> When they want to drink, they'll just jump right over. <laughs> the next set of roommates I did was... Relax and Chill. And this is my first two-story roommate setup. This was originally Pico's house. 
And it was my Zen relaxation was her theme, her chosen theme. So it's still pretty much set up her way outside. I didn't change anything. You get to rename their house whenever you add a roommate. Okay, so when I redid her house, I made the downstairs like their common area for a kitchen. They each got their own bathtub. And she's blocking my way, but here's her bedroom set up downstairs. It's kind of a maze through there, so when they're in my way, I can't really go that far. There we go. There's like a corner doorway here, which I liked for this setup. It gives like privacy for the bedroom downstairs, but also like I left a spot open so that like it's not that private as well. Could you please get out of my way, Pico? Okay, so she has a small kitchen and her own private bath, like private-ish bath. Thank you. So I didn't change the theme at all for her. And then upstairs is more of his setup. He's a jock. So he has a bar, a pool table, his, his own private bath, and a few jock things. And his bedroom is on the opposite side. As you can see, doing the walls this direction was something that I saw other people doing, and it does give you a peek into the rooms without having to move around like I did at Allie's and Claudia's, but I also like their setup. So just an idea of room division. Um, you could even do like an L-shaped roommate setup where you had like a doorway right here and you did walls here. And you did like a room here and a room here and then have like the common area in the middle. You could also do a setup like that. So I didn't really make these two roommates to couple them. I just thought they were both kind of cute. Um, I accidentally asked Pico if she wanted a roommate. It was the first time I saw that option. And I was just reading and I hit A and I was like, well, time to find her a roommate. And this little bird was on the island, so I thought they would pair up. So he's kind of got like a bachelor patch. He's kind of got like a girl's in thing going on downstairs. With the kitchen. They share some common areas, but they have their bedrooms as well. If we had time, I would try to do a roommate, but I don't have, I only have um, about 30 more minutes. I could show you the, uh, the last set of roommates I made, which might be my favorite because I did couple them. Right here. Renee wanted a fancy party for her house when I first did her house. When I saw Roscoe, I knew I immediately wanted to roomie them. <laughs> Roscoe with the honesty. <laughs> it was a bit rocky at first, but it only took about. <laughs> I could see that. She's a firecracker and he's cranky. And I love them both. They are two of my favorite villagers. So she wanted a fancy party, and the car was part of the items I had to use in her original design. So I rolled with that. Um, and, um, 
downstairs. I had a party set up, but um, once I roomied her up, I really, you know, like fancy tables all around her room was like not what I was going for really. So um, this is their elegant kitchen. And this setup has Roscoe as the downstairs. So, um, it's a little tight squeeze through the kitchen. Okay, there we go. So, this is Roscoe's room with the cool bed. Just a simple room for him. He does have, like, this chill area out here. Um... Like, they have the kitchen, and he has, like, the cool sofa set up. I believe there's a TV on this wall. Yes, one of the few rooms I put a TV in. Um, and then upstairs. Is Renee's bedroom, which I didn't change much when she got a roommate. Um, because it was already set up as her bedroom when she had the fancy party before. So she has like a dressing area back here by her spa tub. And this is her like little private bedroom area with gold furniture. He gives her gifts. That is so precious. Oh, that is so precious. So yeah, this is the only roommate situation that I, I feel like um, I made like a cute little couple with. Um, but I wouldn't say that I won't do that in the future when I find the right couple roommates or amiibos. But these, like, this one just makes me so happy because they're truly... Two of my favorites that I've had on my islands and like you can't keep the same villagers forever because if you do then you don't get to experience new villagers. So I'm so glad that I was able to get them on happy home. And um, create this imaginary relationship <laughs> because it's so cute. Um I think they're definitely a couple. He definitely said something about them having a spat, and she loves the gifts that he gives her, and that is precious. It's just absolutely precious. She's over there singing to her bathtub. <laughs> okay. I recommend Krista starting out buy everything that Wardell has to offer that you can afford because the more pokey you spend on his items, the quicker you'll unlock the catalog with him, which will give you access to like everything you've used in Happy Home. So I still dig their really elegant setup outside. I kind of think the DJ booth should be black now that I'm looking at it again because the house is red, but that's okay. We could explore. We don't really have time to build a new house, so... We could explore a few more homes. We did the farmer's market on stream and part of the home with the terrace. Um, we just did those two. I don't think we've checked out Zucker's house. This was my 30th house. Um, I really love it. Um, I wish that I had just stopped so I could do the party with you guys on stream. But I had the best time. I literally listened to DJ KK and raved out for like two hours that night. <laughs> Zucker has a carnival outside. Um, I did my own theme for his house, but I used a lot of things from his order. So it would have been his theme, but I got to pick everything.
This is Zucker's Fun House. So downstairs, we kind of have like the arcade type area. You can get you a slushy at the slushy bar. And the upstairs is my absolute favorite. This is one of my favorite bedrooms ever. I don't think I've showed this one on stream. I might have. I started him with a car bed, but the yellow seashell bed looked better in here. And he like did the little heart emote when I placed it. So I felt like it was definitely what he wanted. <laughs> Have you smelled the smells? He's cute little lazy. Um, he's never fit an aesthetic for any of my islands, so when I ran across him villager hunting, I didn't have it ever chosen to keep him, but he's very cute. I'm going to fly back to Juniper and show you the progress on my own fairy house. Tell her I'm done for the day. Okay, just kidding. I don't have to change clothes, apparently. So I'm really, really, I decided that Luna, well, the idea for this juniper was that Luna was going to be a moon fairy and she was going to live in a moon garden on juniper, but, um, the moon garden's there. <sighs> Ooh, excuse me. At first I was trying to make her house too normal just because I felt the pressure to. People expect you to have a normal-ish house. Um, I decided once I created a new character on Juniper, which is named Mom, we're going to make her house more like a real regular house, that Luna is going all out fairy house, and I love it. So as soon as we listen to Isabel, because we just flew back to the island on a new day, Okay, come on now. We have a visitor. We'll have to check that out too. Okay, so I redid the outside blue because I was trying to experiment to see how it looked over here in the blue and purple area. We should have time to do a quick snowman, too. I know a lot of people have questions about snowmen. Okay, so this is the entryway to the fairy house. And I love it. I did, after you do so many, um, of the once you learn how to polish furniture in happy home you can do it at home it only works inside i wish that you could do it outside some so this is like the ice effect on these and this is a steam the ice goes down the steam goes up and this is that bubbly effect that you get the first round oh dear hello blair <laughs> So I take this as an opportunity to take pictures of my villagers when they come in. I hope she comes all the way in. 
Blair's one of my favorites. Come out of the doorway. Come on in, my dear. She's wearing one of my custom dresses, which I love when they do that. You get all these cool dance moves once you do your 30th um, house. Also, when you take pictures, they leave pretty quickly. Okay, so you'll get more polishes. I don't know when it unlocked for my house because it was so random. I never go inside my house, but that it popped up. But um, So this room right here, I'm still um, not that sure about. I'm still working it out as far as making it more fairy-like, but it is the fairy tea area where you can have a spot of tea. There's also a couch here just to enjoy the view. I did butterflies in this room. <laughs> Lots of them. Okay. You can't change the room sizes in your house, which I find a little bit disappointing. Okay, and this is the patio. It's like an inverted um, balcony, I would say. Like instead of doing the outdoors on the the um, accent wall, I made it look like it leads indoors. I have a few houses that are set up this way for people that wanted a garden home. And this is my idea of a fairy kitchen. I said it's kind of like the inverted idea as well. And we got a bar and we've got a kitchen set up where we can cook and have friends over and eat. You can sit on these stools. I love how tall they are. The Moroccan lights are one of my faves. In case you can't tell, I use them a lot. As far as hanging fixtures, I feel like they are superior to a lot of them. If you turn the lights off, they give enough light and a little bit of color. This is the fairy bedroom. I'm still working this one out. I like it a lot. I just feel like it's really big and could use more to it. But since she's a moon fairy, she has to have her moon chairs. And we have butterflies in here too. As well as the little sparklies. And the cloud flooring. Now the bottom room, I'm not sure how fairy core it is, but it's one that I created and I just really love. It's very unique. It's been here since before I made it into a fairy house. Yes, I love the cloud bed too. Ooh, excuse me. That's one of the Sanrio items. If you don't have access to it, Krista, I will get you one. So this is my rain room. It's a very relaxing place. Um, I used the wet effect on things in here once I got the effects. Other than that, I really haven't changed much. I made the floor darker, but um, I love this room. It's just different. Um, it's a different kind of space here. There are some things that I may end up changing about it, but it's just it's just a fairy rain room. Okay, yeah, Krista, um, remind me because I'm very forgetful this time of year. I have lots of things going on in my head. 
<laughs> all the time. So <laughs> remind me if I forget, I, I can get you some Sanrio items. I have the Amiibo, so I can order them myself and mail them to you as well. Since we are friends. So yes, this is my fairy house and I really love it. There are a few things that are still being tweaked before it's completely done. But um, it's definitely one of my favorite things. Okay, now... Hello, Dizzy. Oh, I'm a little snowman who's starting to melt. Okay, so I promised somebody a quick video on snowmen. I will have to come back and create it from this live for her. I'm going to show you guys how I do snowmen. Um, I found the gargantuan snowmen too difficult, personally. You can make mini snowmen. I used to make them this small, but I can't figure out how anymore. It won't let me. I used to make them literally this small last year, but it won't let me anymore. So, um... As long as I don't do something stupid with my snowballs. Three, four, five. I count the spaces. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh no. I don't think this is right. I usually do 15, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Ooh, this is sketch. Okay. And then just roll that one on top. Oh, he was almost perfect. The top got a little too big. So the top is slightly too big with this one. Um, for the perfect small snowman, it's supposed to be at this at your earlobe. <laughs> the glowing moss is underwhelming in the snow, but I'm keeping it because I don't plan to do the snow for that long. Definitely dig up all your little X's when it snows because you will get a lot of gyroids because the snow is considered precipitation. See if we got a cute one. Oh no, she was one of my starters on Tripti. Um, I might say hi to be polite. I like her saying is Cottontail, but she is so annoying. And I generally like Sisterly, so. Anyways. Go get the speech bottle. We already have that one. Okay. So our enchanted forest looks a little less enchanted in the snow. It is what it is. I found a lot of gyroids since it started snowing. Um, snow is considered precipitation. When there's snow on the ground, it seems to snow a lot throughout the day. A jingaloid, what's that? Is it Christmassy? Um, okay. Not what I was expecting.
This one's probably a fossil. I tried to do a miniature ice skating rink. This is my seasonal area that I change out for the seasons. Um, this area right here. I d want, did not want the flowers to multiply because I'm trying to keep this area to make snowmen in. Um, but I tried to make a small ice rink and I think on my heart island it's a little too small. Um, I'm not sure. I might just take everything down and put a giant Christmas tree here. I have been working on some Christmas designs for you guys. Um, I will make myself available to deliver them later in the week if anybody wants some. And I will have them posted when I feel like I'm done. So we have um, the mush sweater still up there, but that's not... Can you get out of my way, lady? Um, so we have the simple Christmas tree sweater, two vintage dresses, peppermint dress, dancing gingerbread man, and the Christmas tree smock dress. I also made more, let's see. I made a snowman. Which I think is super cute. And it kind of stays. It's more wintry. It's not so much Christmas. Only. And this one right here is really cute. Just the green polka dots. I loved that shade of green. This one I'm still not sure about it. It's cute but it feels not finished. There's the peppermint dress. And the peppermint hat, which I'm wearing already. So far, the simple Christmas tree is like my favorite. It's, it's almost time to wrap it up, guys. I want to show you guys the tree farm in the snow. Um, as we learned today on Happy Home Paradise, oh, they're exercising. So cute. Like I said, Rio doesn't really match my villager set here. And actually, Dizzy doesn't either, but I love them so much. They're two of my favorites. So the tree farm in the snow is so pretty. I will probably keep the tree farm until spring when I decide to get ducks and make them a duck pond here. But I've loved it for the fall and the winter. Looks like Blair was visiting Marshall. That was kind of my hope when I got Marshall. Um, I've got to come through here and decorate for Christmas. I think tomorrow on stream we'll decorate... The island for Christmas. There's a present for my last scavenger hunt. We'll take it with us. <laughs> I don't want to change the whole island for the snow because I'm only keeping the snow until Christmas. I don't love the snow. I do love that some of my paths look epic with the snow, like this one. It stands out on the grass, but with the snow, it looks like it belongs. But. I do plan to only keep the snow until Christmas. They want us to have snow until February, and I'm just not about it. So once Christmas is over, we will either go back to fall for a little while or travel forward to spring right after the snow melts. I don't, I feel like I would have to change a lot to make this island like a real snowy island. And I don't want to do that. I love this island. I love this fairy core theme. Like this flooring looks kind of different in the snow, but it is what it is until the snow is gone, not changing it. Turtle Beach. See a round thing. Finally got a hold of some bunnies, thanks to Dina. Mm. 
Do, do, do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed designing in Happy Home Paradise today. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the fairy house. Um, I don't have very much time left, like literally one minute. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up tomorrow. Look forward to Christmas decorating. If you came to the event yesterday, I hope you got plenty of Christmas decorations so you can work on your island. Let's go say hi to Ion. Also, I want to say something about Ion. Um, we have talked about how her name is supposed to be said. Ion, Ioni, Ion. Um, I looked it up online, and in different languages, there's like 15 different ways. Like, every language has their own pronunciation of it, and I think that's absolutely beautiful. So you could choose your own way of saying it. Um, some of my favorites were Ione, which is pretty sounding. Um, Ione, Ione. Um, there was, I'm trying to remember, I think the... I'm trying to remember all of them, but I love Ione and Ione. Um, so I might just start calling her Ione. <laughs> because I think that's pretty, that's either the Portuguese or the French version of it. If you have her and you want to hear the different ways to say her name, type her name in on Google, I-O-N-E, and say phonetic pronunciation or pronunciation of the name Eon, and there is a website that will tell you all of the different ways to pronounce her name in different languages and cultures. I'm just checking out some areas in the snow that I haven't checked out. Um, and pick one that you like the best. I think it's very beautiful that her name can be said 15 different ways. <laughs> to be honest. So everybody have a wonderful day. Have a happy Monday. I'll see you back tomorrow morning with some Christmas decorating.